generative grammar. Okay, what do you mean by generative? Produce. Okay. Produce. To generate. To generate. To produce. To create. Like as we talk about uh, prepositional phrase. So the first we created the first rule like prepositional uh, preposition plus a noun. But then um, we had a problem with what? With like with like the sample preposition plus a noun like dog and tree. So we created another rule like preposition plus noun phrase rewrites prepositional phrase. Correct. So we generated generated a grammar rule. This called generated grammar. So the rule a prepositional phrase in English consists of a preposition followed by a noun phrase. So this rule can produce unlimited number of English phrases, right? Unlimited. You can say based on this uh, fixed rule, we can say a uh, with a boy, with a girl, with a dog, in the school, near the tree. You see? Unlimited phrases. Okay. So this is true. Another goal syntactic analysis is to have a small and finite. Finite means limited. Limited set of rules that will be capable of producing a large and potentially infinite unlimited number of well-formed structures. This is the rewrite of the previous sentence. The rewrite, the restatement of what we've just said. Alright? See, some of the set of rules uh, sometimes described as a generative grammar because it can be used to generate or produce sentence structures, not just describe. We don't describe the sentence, we generate, we produce structures based on this uh, small and infinite set of rules. Alright? D, it explains the generative gra grammar, that it explains how some super superficially different phrases yeah. and sentences are closely related. Okay? Superficially uh, different phrases. What do we mean by superficially different phrases? Uh, deep structure and surface structure. Charlie broke the window. The window was broken by Charlie. <coughs> so superficially. Are they similar or different? If you check the structure, surface structure, are they similar or different? Different structure, similar with they are different. Yeah, the surface, they are the same. Meaning the same. Superficially, they are different. Why? Because one is active, Charlie broke the window, and the other one is passive. The window was broken by Charlie. Superficially, they are different. Okay? Because they have different structure. Okay? Yeah, so in traditional grammar, the first sentence is called an active sentence. Yes. yes. Uh, why? Because it focuses on what Charlie did. Yes. yes. Charlie broke the window. So it focuses on what Charlie's action that is done by Charlie. So the second sentence is passive. The window was broken by Charlie. Uh, and it focuses on the window and what happened to the window. That's why it is passive. You see, two different sentences. When we analyze a surface structure, they are superficially different. Okay?
the, the distinction the distinction between them is a difference in their surface structure. True? Yes. As individual synthetic forms, they are superficially different. So this is a restatement of what we say. Okay? Nine. <coughs> Which of the following is true or false about deep subtractor level of two different English sentences? Like Charlie broke the window, or the window broke was broken by Charlie. So now we, when we analyze their surface structure, they are different. Yeah. What about the meaning? The meaning are they similar or different? Yes, because basic components like noun phrase, word, and noun phrase are shaped by two sentences. Is that true? Yes, because both sentences have subjects and then words. Okay? Noun phrase, word plus noun phrase. It is an abstract level of structure, structural organization. Okay, okay. can I have a Thank you. 